a story that we're really interested mm -hmm. in. A lot of women love their high heels and they will go to great lengths and great pain to wear them. But there's a new product that actually claims it can help you avoid the pain. And if it works, they're just going to be like millionaires. <laughs> uh, is, is it too good to be true? Dr. Sapna Parikh is here with more on how it works. Sapna? We already have doctors who will inject fillers into your feet and surgically Ooh. shorten your toes Ooh. so they can fit into your Toes's heels. Coffee. So Ooh. nothing surprises me anymore. But this time, anyway, it's a numbing spray, and it hits the market Numbing. On January nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing how much we suffer in the name of fashion, but this new product claims to make your stilettos more comfortable. It's a numbing spray. We have got the same medication, lidocaine, that dentists and doctors have used. The 4% lidocaine spray is similar to burn sprays already in drugstores, but a little stronger. It's created by a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon whose website says your high heel pain will soon be a thing of the past. It's not that it actually diminishes the pain completely. What it does is it puts it, puts it on the back burner. He told me the spray does not work as well in about 30% of patients, including him. You're supposed to spray it on your feet no more than four times a day, wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to kick in, then go back to dancing. I checked in with some New York fashionistas who had some good questions. Yeah. Would you fall over if your feet are numb? Like how? And like what happens if you're drinking? Like you're already, your body's already going through you that. Fall over enough. It's hard enough to walk in heels, and that pain has a purpose. It's kind of like telling someone to spray it on your hands, then go outside without gloves, and you don't need to worry about frostbite anymore. I wish that was true, but it's not. It's not really curing any problem, it's really just masking pain. So it's important to be able to listen to your body and receive any signals that it's sending to you. Signals you may be developing problems we know are caused by wearing high heels for too long. Arthritis and even foot deformities, bunions, hammer toes. I might just be inclined to stick with flats. <laughs> I wouldn't go quite that far for my, for my heel wear. So if you decide to use it every once in a while before you're going out or to a party, I don't recommend it, but I get it. Just know that you may end up with more blisters, more pain later that you didn't even realize. And I think it goes without saying, but if you're having mm -hmm. chronic pain, then you need to skip yeah. the spray. You shouldn't be using it right. four yeah. times a week without you know being checked out for proper. Okay, we are constantly wearing our heels, and uh, <laughs> right. you know we That's need so that cute. spray. We need to numb it. But I'm thinking <laughs> runners could use this too, or other people. If you know you're running in something certain, of course, if you're running in something certain, you should probably uh, yeah, get it checked yeah, out. Yeah, I, I think so. Know. Maybe not. Yeah.